previously on the Kasharskis. It does? Yes, it smells so old in here. That's fantastic. I'm Eric Kasharski, and this is the beginning of a million Texas videos. What can you win? Look at, look at the prize to the right in the front. Oh my god. We're on our way, we're in Alabama. Boom! This is the Tunnel of Love. But we're here at Shoney's. Um, Shoney's. We got a doubler, we got a doubler. We got a doubler, we got a doubler. That's awesome. Well, why are you guys in here with no lights on and flashlights? Because the lights? lamps are not working. Because the lamps are not working. This is our first hotel. Why have to have There's a piano in the, uh, in the breakfast. We got stopped at Chad's Pond. That's a really good pawn shop. Yeah, we Look at all this stuff. We got a thing for bridges, people. Put that light pole up and had to stand way up there on the light pole. Thousands they of feet off the They paid people ground. good money to build these bridges. Oh, look at that water over there. Spewing out of that uh, thing. We're here at the one, the only Whataburger. We're stop, stopping here. We're, we're, we're finally here in Houston. Um, my mom and Josh are here. Josh, she's finally getting out of the car. Close Sorry, Josh. Door. And we're going in. Close we're going to go to the bathroom. We're going to stretch our legs. Leave it to Josh to know everything about Whataburger. Because when you're Josh, you're fast food. That reminds me, another place that we need to have back in Florida is Whataburger. I don't know if there's any, if there is, they're not nowhere near us. We need Whataburger. They had one in Florida. Well, we need a water. We, we, we need it by us. We need one right by us. Josh, okay. We've arrived at everybody's favorite game store in Texas, Game Bros. Woo! I'm here inside Game Bros. Josh is here, Pete's here, and, and Josh and Pete are going live. I'm not going live. This video won't be up for like a month. And nobody will know, but Josh went live and screwed the whole thing up, and now everybody knows we're here. Houston. That's on my blog. Wait, hold on, hold on. Did you just say you were in a store for sex toys? Yeah, it was next door to the Game Bros. So, uh, wow. So I went and checked it out just to see what they had. What were you shopping for at the store next to Greg's? Not in your business. That one is not called for. That is not going to be in there. Come on. Okay. Uh, when, when we went... I need you to squeeze my neck. Okay, hold on a second. Shoulders. That one? All the, all the poppies. All the poppies. Look at this place. So if you're ever in the Texas area, come check out Game Brews. We have to figure out who's gonna go on the roof and grab the Mario because I'm not going on the roof. I can't climb. I'm too chubby. Oh. Yeah, I can't either. So, uh, how how were how were Pete and Greg on the trip this time? They're fine. I don't got nothing wrong with them. I love Pete and Greg. We just went to Walmart. We're looking for an NES Classic controller. Couldn't find it here. I'm gonna go check out GameStop real fast. I'm gonna go back and we're gonna pick my mother up. We're gonna go out to eat. Yep. Woo! He's Aaron does for Mario. <laughs> Come, on, you got it. Is the thing shut? The lens? Oh, side thing. Yeah. Aaron, now you got it. Aaron is climbing up a ladder <laughs> to get a. This is awesome. This is work. Dude, he's like an old man. He's afraid of heights. That is fine. <laughs> Greg just chilling. He's just like, this is worth it. <laughs> Aaron, don't look down, man. Just keep looking up. I cool. can't. He's afraid I can't of the shadow. You got it. You're almost there. You got it. Five more steps, brother. Just think of it. Mario's up there waiting for you. I'll try and get you. I can't guarantee you. Don't hurt you. Don't make it. Come on, you You're almost there. You're doing great, buddy. Don't laugh. He's doing good. Aaron, why are you shaking? Josh, can you come up here? No, you scared. got it. Why are you scared? Yo, bro, you only get... He's petrified the heights. Don't, don't remind him. Aaron, that's not high. I used to climb trees. <laughs> that's only a 10-step ladder, man. Come on, you're Tell almost him, there. Okay? Tell him. Where's it at? <laughs> that's way over no, there. No, it's not up there. Oh, you could make it up there. It's away. It's a hurricane ticket. It could have. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> you know he's not gonna come down, right? Up there, Mama K. No. When, well, how the are you gonna see? You said that thing is so big. Mama K, I'll give you ten dollars. You climb that ladder. You want me to climb that ladder all the way up to the top? Ten bucks cash, right now. Give you ten bucks. Ten dollars cash. Give you five Mario. You still get the ten bucks. <laughs> so he's the best of all the worlds. I got flip flops. Add to your hospital bill. I got. I'm uh, I can do it. Oh, you know what? I, 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 I Where is he? We lost Aaron. I don't know where Aaron went, but I'm loving this. Josh, where'd he go? Put that pause. No. Until he gets back. Uh oh, we're we cool. So you don't run down the battery. How do I pause this? Put Just hit the pause. stop again? Yeah. So, what would I do for a Mario? Well,. Uh, climb two stories, maybe three, get on a roof, uh, grab a blow up Mario, and you know, a blow up doll, I guess, whatever you want to call it, you can make all the jokes you want, insert trolls and memes here, but uh, yeah, I, I traveled pretty high off the ground, uh, just to get an inflatable Mario. Alright, there's Aaron, he's coming down, he's coming down. He's coming down. Oh, he's, He's coming down. He went all the way up on the roof to get this right here. I should have brought my phone to get a picture up there. I was actually he went up there to get this. <laughs> and I don't know what it is. Greg, can you tell me what that is? It's like a 10 foot Mario. It's a 10 foot Mario. That's what it is. We just have to blow it up. Yeah, Who's got the hot air? <laughs> <laughs> Who's got the hot air? Now that I'm finally back down on the ground, um, I calmed down a little bit. We're about to leave Game Bros. Uh, we're leaving Greg and uh, Pete here. We're going to go back to the hotel. Catch up with you guys uh, later. Oh yeah, he'll be at the convention, so you'll probably see more of him. Josh, what time is it? Luby's time. So as the family tradition continues, <laughs> for the billionth time, we're back at Luby's. This place is awesome. This is so good. I love this. What did you get? I got, I got chicken. Chicken. And Josh, what'd you get? Pork chop. Pork chop. He's trying to get me to get that roast beef. No. Unfortunately, Laura couldn't make it. Luby's was back. This is our fifth time going there. Um, I did notice this time that instead of the green napkins they usually have, there was there were black ones. So there was that. But uh, my food was great. I love eating there. Um, it's just it's an awesome experience, you know. See, for you guys, you're like, why do you keep going to Luby's? You guys don't understand. From when I was little, like four, five, whatever, all the way up until like late teens. Like I forget, I forget how I forget what grade or what age I was when they officially closed down. It's been at least ten to twelve years since they've been closed. We no joke ate there two, three, sometimes even four times a week after we picked my grandma up from work. You know, she would always take us out to eat there. You know, my dad would pick her up from work, me, her, and Josh. Funny story, when Josh was like four years old, you know, he didn't know three or four, he didn't know what he wanted back then. He was still little, he could barely talk. You know, um, the, the, the waitress came over to our table and and she, she gave my grandma and my dad coffee, you know? And, and Josh had a little creamer in front of him, or, or a little like a coffee cup, because they give each, each place setting had a coffee cup. And he flipped it over like this, and he's like, where's my coffee? You know? And, and ever since then, Josh has been drinking coffee. Um, I don't like the taste of coffee, but that's just a childhood memory. Uh, but yeah, so essentially, my, my childhood was loopy, so if you wonder why I like it so much, that's why. We are now leaving Luby's. Uh, Walmart, Aaron. Good eating. So, Josh, what do you want to do at the hotel first? It's been so long since we've been at a hotel. I want to jump in the pool and the hot tub and watch Josh run away from some girlies. Woo! Josh, are in Texas. Did you get my message? 
Well, we're in Texas, and if we sell oh my enough God. We're video in Texas. game stuff, Diane's coming back we home, might baby. Be able She's to coming drive back by home, and pick baby. you up and you can pay us for gas. Woohoo! This is a cool looking, cool looking city. This is a waste of a place, but I like this. Look at that city. That is the outskirts of the city. That's where we're going to. Downtown Houston. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. We have arrived to our hotel, the Holiday Inn Express. This is our MTV Cribs. And here we got microwave and refrigerator. Microwave with no road cheese, bed with no road cheese. Dang, this room is. This room isn't as big as the this other one. Bed. Look, look how look how much smaller this room is compared to the ones we've been getting. What? Well, hold on, yeah, what happened to the flat the giant flat screen? They got shrimpy on us, Josh. Shrimpy on shrimpy on us. Holiday and Express was amazing. The pool was indoors, so we didn't have to be out in the hot heat. I got in the pool, it was nice and warm, it wasn't freezing cold like it usually is. It was, it was awesome. I loved it. I loved the experience. Uh, Houston's great as always. Josh is paranoid about elevators now because of his POS elevator. That he's trying to double check the elevator numbers. <laughs> doing here? Yeah, me and Josh. Me and Josh. Yeah, yeah Pete's got. Uh, I, think, I think he does. I don't know. We're, we're in the workout room. I'm doing a live stream right now. We're live on Facebook or YouTube. Look, say hi everybody. Woo! What okay, so this is the workout room. Feel that burn. We're, we're live on Facebook or on YouTube right now. We just got $120 worth of donations. And me and Josh, we're going to Dave & Buster's. Woo! So we may or may not have dipped out on the live stream to go to Dave & Buster's. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, we, I'm sorry we skipped out on you guys. But when you're in Houston, when you're in another place, another state, you want to try and explore. I was trying to get some footage from Dave & Buster's, but my phone is a piece of garbage, so it died out on me. But don't worry, I got footage, and it was amazing. Look at this. I want this arcade. Donate from 25 cents. Oh, it's a donate one. You can donate you anything. Yeah. And you can play. Yeah, make that wish. Make Donate to make a wish. The foundation, and let's go. How was Dave and Buster's? It's an arcade. It was good. Obviously, everything's bigger in Texas, so. Oh, yeah. Except for Aaron. He's smaller. Look at that Jurassic Park virtual reality. Mario Kart, oh, so cool, so cool. Halo, Fire Team Rage, lost the lead, tied the lead, gained the lead. There's Aaron and Josh. There's Aaron and Josh. On the on the Jurassic Park. There's Aaron and John. They're on the virtual reality game. Two grown adults acting like two kids. Look at that thing move. Plus, walk up your mouth. Watch it bounce around. See it bouncing around? Look at that. Josh and Aaron having a blast. Two little kids.
when we went to um, Dave and Buster's, that Jurassic Park ride, what did you think of it? I didn't even go on it. But you filmed it. You, you got to see on the screen. I thought it was kind of cool. Yeah, you guys got to sit in the little machine and have VRs on your face. <laughs> Josh, how is there a Dave and Buster's? How? How was it? How? How? Look, everybody, it's, it's, it's Luigi's you Mansion. Have $5 no, I we're can playing have. Luigi's Mansion. It's Luigi's Mansion. We're playing Luigi's Mansion. I go. Luigi's Mansion. Look at this. Look at this. We're playing Luigi's Mansion. Look at this. This is one. I, I want this arcade. I want this arcade. You don't have room in a store to put it. What is this? Uh, I want to try it. It's supposed to be the It's that game. darkest game. 40. Playing some rip-off games over here at, uh, at Dave & Buster's. This place is awesome, for the record. Dang, 12,500 tickles. We're in the prize section of Dave & Buster's. And uh, Josh is trying to, whoa, Josh, I want this. I want this, Josh. Josh, it's only 1700 I want this. Upstairs, upstairs is a bowling alley. Rock'em Sock'em, robots. What are they freaking out about in the chat, Josh? These guys donating money. So, so they're all excited? He's got, we got game changers in the chat. We're not even on the stream. We need to get back to the hotel room, we Josh. We know what's up, dude. Let's up because these kids, we know what's up, bro. Wow. It's YouTube gold. It's YouTube gold? Yeah. We're gold on the YouTubes. Hey, I guess. Hey, uh, and look at this. Not only are we live on YouTube, my mother is playing real life Mario Kart. Maybe I could throw like a blue turtle shell or something at her, or a banana peel. I could spin her off course. <laughs> Look, this right, this look, this machine right here. You sell them your phones. You stick the phone in the machine, and it, and it tells you what phone it is. It's kind of like, uh, it's kind of like GameStop. It's, it's kind of like a portable GameStop. You know, look, they give you a price for your phone, and then they pay out. Woo! Okay, here's the next question. This one's fill in the blank. Sell us your blank. Sell us. You're broke. No, 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 no. Sell us your what? Video games. You're no fun. Sell us your phone, sell us your car. Any of those answers could have worked. Yeah. Why are you backing into people's buggies? I don't know. I don't know what's about to happen, but I think we were just invited to the Game Chasers hotel room. I'm scared, Mommy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Right, comes in filming. You didn't even ask Woo! him to film. I may or may not have gotten roasted by Jay. But it was all cool at the end of the day because it's all in good fun. I always get roasted. You know, people say stuff on the streams all the time. I'm used to it. I sometimes see sometimes it does hurt a little bit. You know, I'm I'm not gonna say I don't have emotions, you know, um, especially when it comes to Laurel. You know, but but it happens so much that each time it, it, it's like another layer of, of getting numb to where it's just, you know, it's it, it's kind of like when you do something over in time, over and over again, repetition's the mother of retention, so if, if they keep saying saying crap and saying crap, it just it's just there at this point. Uh, so I'm sorry if you're trying to get a ruse out of me or whatever and you're just not getting the response. It's just... You know, just take a ticket. I'll be your punching bag. Just, you know, I don't know. I, I don't know. That that shouldn't be, it shouldn't be that way. But unfortunately, that's how it is. Basically just got roasted on Jay's stream. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't film a whole lot of clips in there. But I essentially got roasted on Jay's stream. Uh, but yeah, it was, it, it, it was kind of cool. I got to see everybody. Uh, Josh is trying to figure out how to get himself in the car. John's joining us now, too. Holy crap, Our window's getting cleaned right now. I don't believe this. <sighs> Complimentary breakfast with Joshy. Oh, this looks so good. I'm, I'm digging in, guys. I'm digging in. So what's gonna happen? I don't know. 
Okay, that's what I thought. Uh, why is it every time we come to a hotel in Texas, uh, there's always some sort of an issue? Always, always an issue. But I think, I think we're barely gonna squeak by on this one. I blame Josh. Can't we sleep in the car for a night? No. We stopped by a mall over here in Houston. Um, I traded in some stuff that I got earlier today. One game they may or may not have should have taken it, but they took it in. I'm not gonna say any I'm not going any further. I'll get myself into some trouble. But let's just say, let's just say I got the money. So cash is the same as credit. And we're trying to find our mother, Josh over here. Josh, what are we doing? If we find her, I'll let you know. I'll keep you guys updated. So what did Aaron trade? What did I trade? I almost said in third person. What did I trade at that first, uh, well, what's the first the mall in Texas? That, that you passed up on. It was a dollar. You passed up on it. But I bought it anyway, and I still somehow traded it in? What? Because you came in a pawn shop. There was a dollar. You didn't buy it. There's okay. a certain reason why you didn't buy it, because you said, oh, that's not going to trade. Oh, a cracked game <laughs> that you traded in a GameStop. There you go. Did you scam GameStop for? Look at that. There's a McDonald's in the food court. And very off, not often do you see McDonald's in the food court. And then way off over there, there's a merry-go-round. Look at that. What? Hey, Josh, I said it before and I'll say it again. You couldn't get Michael Kors if you was getting Michael Kors. Wait, look at that. Tell her, to, that tell her to go off the engine to the carousel and we'll pick her up over there. Josh is over here looking at all these wonderful watches from Gucci, but he can only afford Fuji. Why are you always looking at expensive watches that you, uh, that, that you, you, you there's no way, Josh. Come on, come on, come on. You can't get that Rolex. We went to a mall. We went to a mall in Houston. Um, I traded some stuff in. They had a merry-go-round inside. It was a pretty big mall, pretty decent mall. It wasn't as big as, as the mall from later in the video, but you, but you'll see more of that later. But yeah, we went, we went to this mall and uh, I traded some games in. And I traded one game in particular that should not have been traded in, but I, I just hand them the games. If they don't do a refurb fee, that's not, you know, uh, it's not my job to, oh, here, here, here's this game. Make sure you put a refurb on it. Whenever you go to trade stuff in, of course you want the max value. You're not going to purposely go out of your way to have them give you a refurb fee unnecessarily because a lot of times a disc will have scratches on it and still work. And it just depends on the employee. I had an employee one time. I traded in a game. I opened the game in the parking lot, traded it in, and the guy just didn't like me because he knew that I always traded stuff in and he knew what the deal was, you know. So he just gave me a refurb fee on a game that was brand new just because. And it was because it was me specifically because I guess he knew I was a reseller and he knew what was going on. And he's like, no, screw that. No, I'm giving you refurbs. And when I asked him about it, He's like, oh, Wii U games are very touchy. Uh, this could this could still not work even if it's brand new. That was his exact explanation. And I'm like, yeah, you're retarded. Look at this Houston traffic. Show the, show the spyways. It's the highways. Look at the byways and the highways and the spyways. They're every which way but loose. Well, we're going to set up at the, at the, at the pre-setup. It's Friday. Um, I'll keep you guys posted. We just left. We just left the, the mall. So much stuff going on right now. This has been a nuts day. It's I just, a nightmare. I just want to relax. Take a picture down here. Look, One, she, two, three, she wants four to show you all the. Yeah, it's four high, five wide. This is like Dallas all over again. Well, we're in a little tunnel. Um, it's just a small one. It's a small tunnel. No, no, this ain't a small one, mother. Look. Yeah, it is. Where are we? We're coming out of it now. See, I told you it's a Love small the tunnel. tunnel. That's a tunnel. Look at that. Hey, Highway hey, above us. You better enjoy. That toll cost us like five bucks. Five bucks? Yeah, Why right. Why is my car not going? I hate these stupid tollways. It's pop 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 along. Did you check the fluids and everything? My car is fine. Yeah, right. <laughs> that is NRG Stadium. No. I want to say that's the Houston Texan Stadium. That's the football field. 
Even in Texas, there's their move your head, fatty. F you. F move. F move. Where is it? Oh yeah, toy. Right there. Toys. To take it? Look at that, Toys R Us. Let me, let me see the camera. Look, people. It's a Toys R Us. There's a Toys R Us. See? Nice Toys R Us. Bye, Toys R Us. Oh, were there were there any uh, Toys R Us? Were there any go uh, carts at the Toys R Us in Houston? I don't know. There's probably one outside. Toys R Us is dead for now. This is the NRG Convention Center. That's where we gotta go. This sucker is huge, big and huge. How much did you steal? I mean, make me money in Texas. I didn't steal. I made you money, and you bought a stupid computer, and now you're broke. See this, buddy? Look at that. Look at that train. It's a bus. It's a metro bus, and on the top of it, let me get zoom it in so you can see it. When you zoom in, see there? They got these wires up top there. See? And then that bus, and it goes through the city. Oh, I didn't even chew. I didn't even read this. We almost just got hit by by the bus back there. I can't concentrate with you screaming. Well, when I'm sitting here and right to my right is a butt. Anything interesting happen Friday a setup on the way there? I don't remember. Almost getting hit by a bus. Oh, God, yeah. That I do remember. They have this, you know how in California they have these trolley cars and they have the wires above it and they're on tracks? Well, they have buses like that over in Texas, and we're sitting on the track, and this bus is coming right at us. So I started screaming on the top of my lungs just because of that um, bus coming at us. Okay. I thought we were gonna die. What the? F what is this? What is this giant building? There is no way that this is where Retro Palooza is this year. Uh, th this is what this can't this can't possibly be it, Josh. This this is way too big. This is quite possibly the biggest Retro Palooza room we've ever been in. This place is packed out to the max. Um, it's way bigger than even the Dallas one. Um, Houston, yeah, Houston, we do have a problem. This table here, but and our two wow, aren't gonna work. we'll go this way and go that. That's way. what we're gonna, mother. Every time, look, we're gonna have a wall there, a wall there, and a wall here. I understand that. But yes, that's how gonna we're gonna do it. That? Yes, they're gonna allow that. Okay, now I got this. Don't worry. I need plug outlet. Well, they they're, they're dangling, they so they're, they're dangling. Plug outlet. I just sold my first sale of the convention, and the convention hasn't even started yet. Zelda 1, Zelda 2, and Mega Man 3 to Pete. Pete is my first first purchase or first sale this weekend. And I just actually set up your booth for you too. Oh uh, yeah, look at that. That looks, that looks yeah. really, really good, all the colored systems. I put them up like that. Yeah. Pete helped me. Yeah, it's upside down. Except Mama K put and up the free plate N64 yeah. upside down. <laughs> Mom, oh. mother, look at the top system. Upside down. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, I'll fix that. Right. So put it on super right. right. All the other ones there. Okay. Is that push Rob down more? I'm Tetris. Game Wizard exposed. Look at this, guys. Look at all those colored systems. Look at Rob. Ooh. He's a Tetris master. So, uh, Josh, why, why, why'd you leave the, uh, why'd you leave the Pringle show over there? Why, 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 why'd why you do that? I don't know. This is a mega convention. This is, well, this is like Maluga Con, only it's Retro Palooza. Yeah, it does. Well, we're gonna go home for the night. I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys. Uh, if, there, if something cool happens, I'll get another clip. If not, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh, and if you're wondering, right there is the Pringles. The Pringles. 
Uh, what's your opinion of the overall convention based on what you heard and seen? It sounded like it was pretty good. A Tetris winner, man, he was really good. Look at that, everybody. NRG Stadium. Woo! Look what Josh has, look what Josh has reduced us to. Lottery tickles. Which one you got back there, Josh? Josh has scratched a really big one. He lost on this one, and then I won on this one here. Ten bucks. So, I'm taking that, and Soccer! I went into this, and we're about to see if I'm going to win on this You're one. Talking. Did you win on any of the Texas lottery tickets? I don't remember. Fifty dollar one. Did I win anything decent? No, I think I won fifty. Fifty dollars. I think fifty is all I won. I don't think I. I don't think I got anything high this time. Texas sucked this time. Tell me when you're ready. Go. Four. Josh just won ten dollars on a scratcher. Oh, these now like it's my turn to scratch. All the way this way. Josh is scratching off. What are you gonna do, my three numbers? Scratching off thirty dollar Texas Tico. What? I know. Okay, we'll see in a second. Symbol hunting. Josh has two more to go. Thirty-three. No, thirty-three. Last number. What is it? It's a four. Josh, you just lost thirty dollars. How does it feel to lose all this money? Guys, tell him to stop playing the lottery. I tried to stop him, but he didn't well, do it. So. I'm over here desperately pleading with Josh not to keep buying these tickets, but Wait. I don't know what to do. He keeps he keeps buying them. Josh, you have a gambling problem. And you know what you when you have a gambling problem, Josh? You sell us your car. And update, Josh lost two tickets in a row. There goes all your money. There goes all your money. It's a big zero. Finally, his degeneracy paid off. $50 winner. Woohoo! Scan again, scan again, scan again. $50. Whoa. Look, everybody, it's a stupid telephone pole. Josh, you going down to that hot tub? Woo! Oh. We are so soaking wet right now. Josh is in the pool. I'm soaking wet. I'm soaking wet. We're swimming. We're out in the hot tub and swimming pool. Um, just chilling out. Josh is over there pretending like he's dead in the water. Unfortunately, he's not. Anyway, I'll see you guys in a second. I'm going to go get back in the hot tub. What was your opinion of the Holiday Inn Express pool? It's a pool. Oh, swim's over. We're trying to dry off now. Go, go dry off Where are we going, Josh? Somewhere. Okay, let's go. We're going to Dave and Buster's. Leave Greetings, everybody. We are back. We are back. Uh, Dave and Buster's is over there. Josh wants to go get some ice cream. I think we're going to do something at Dave and Buster's again. So I'll keep you guys updated. Much better. Oh, yeah, look at that. That looks so good. Yum. Going up. Yeah, bowling ended up being like $40 an hour, so screw all that. I'm trying to save my newfound wealth. Uh, me and Josh are going to go back to the hotel. We're doing another live stream. Josh is filming. So, yeah. Berry Farms. Olive Garden yesterday. Yeah, Olive Garden yesterday. Jack in the Box today. Look at that, it's the Aaron Brothers Art and Framing Gallery. <laughs> My window won't roll up. It was rolled all the way down. And nobody told me that I can't roll it all the way down. So it's not my fault that you didn't tell me to roll it all the way down. Who rolled the window all the way down? Did you hear what I just said? It's not my fault. That you didn't tell me to roll the window all the way down. But who rolled the window all the way down? My mother rolled roll the window. Roll down Josh's window, all please. The way. Roll down Josh's down. window. Josh is here. We're eating at the Ranchero King Buffet in Texas. This food is so. 
it's an all you can eat buffet, a bunch of Mexican food. Um, well, yeah, some of this food we can't make out because it's like a cheap imitation of itself. Like if you want a cookie, you get uh, this. And it looks like a sugar it's cookie. A cook. It's a cook. No eat. No eat. Just cook. What was your opinion of the Ranchero Buffet? <laughs> if you're in Texas, it is the worst buffet. Do not f***ing go there. It sucks. It's for Mexicans. They got food. You don't even know what the f*** it is. It's like, you. Pro I was probably eating rat. I didn't even f***ing know it. I thought it was steak. Goat's meat. No, it tasted like steak. It was steak, goat's but... meat the guy told me. Chicken and goat's meat. That's what he told me. And it was 15 f***ing dollars. Could have went to Golden Corral. Leaving the Ranchero King Buffet. And we're going to go head back to the hotel. This is our last night here in Texas. Tomorrow, tomorrow we leave. Mm. Ranchero Buffet, good or bad? Oh, the most nastiest place you ever want to eat at. I'll never eat there again. Let's go. Let's board his pop stand. And a surprising twist of added drama on this trip. I have a flat tire. How are we gonna leave the hotel on a flat tire, Josh? I don't know. Roads, where we're going, we don't need roads. So, I got a flat tire, boys. We might be staying in Texas forever. Okay, these are the days of our lives. Flat tires. We might be stuck in Texas forever, Josh. Will we get home or won't we? Find so out the on the next episode okay. of the Kasharskis. Woo!